Hey coaches, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So organizational week, this one I could I probably eventually will spend an entire week on practice organization. Uh, to me, as a coach, that's the first thing we're looking to do to maximize our time, however limited it is, with our athletes. I literally just put out a organizational guide that deals a lot with practice organization. So if you're interested in getting a lot more in depth than I'm gonna go today, you can go to fbcoachsimpson.com and it's there for you to pre-order. I also have a couple templates on there to give you some samples of practice schedules and different things if you wanna get more in detail. But I'm gonna go through kind of the rough overview of the different things we look for as you're organizing a practice that will help you maximize your time. So I'm gonna move pretty quickly through these. Again, if you want more depth, just go to my website. You can find pretty much whatever you want. And I think I've even done a CoachTube course on this that goes heavily in depth. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do when you're organizing a practice is figure out what your objective is. These can change dramatically depending on the time of year. You know, if you're organizing a practice early in the year, that could be to work heavily on skills and drills and fundamentals. Or the point of that practice could be to install. Give you kind of an example. We'll start probably late February, early March, kind of bringing our kids in early, uh, and we'll do some of each. You know, some days we'll come in and we'll heavily focus on drill skills, footwork, all that kind of stuff. And then later in the week, we'll show them how those drills equate into scheme. Those are two very different practices. And so you need to be clear with your coaches, with your kids, kind of what your expectation is on that. So just having an objective as you move to end season, the same deal there. You know, what is our objective in anything we do inside this practice? Which kind of goes to this next point here. In my opinion, if you want to organize a great practice, you need to figure out what is the most important thing you want that athlete to know at the end of that practice or to rep during that practice. And then work to number two, and then work to number three, and you may not work to number four, five, six, seven. Start at the most important part of that practice. Make sure that gets the most time, the most investment from you, and then work down. Uh, if you'll do that, a lot of times you'll ensure you're getting what you really need to get in, what you really set out to get in. If you don't get to the extra, you don't get to the extra. But a lot of times I've seen we'll get caught up in something that may not be as important and we don't get to what we really needed to harp on with that athlete. And so we do a drill book. We're working on one now, I'm working on one at Southside as well when I was there. Uh, basically, it's setting up you're organizing what skills most important for this position, what drills match those skills, and you kind of work from there. Uh, I'm working on that, I don't have it available yet, but I do have a couple different sources you can go to, you know, CoachTube or my website to get kind of an idea about that. As soon as I get that out, it'll be available as well. Second thing, or third thing, is you need to script as much as you can of your practice. You know. Uh, Obviously, you want to segment it out into individual, and then you want to work to however you're going to get to team. So I'm mainly talking about your team and your inside period and your seven and seven period. I think that's probably a known deal, but when I say script, I'm not just talking about, we're going to snap the ball, we're going to run this play against this defense. That's part of the script. The other part of the script is this one down here, situations. You know, we're going to snap the ball from the left hash at the 17 on second and eight. And we're going to snap the ball from the right hash, you know, on fourth and one at around midfield. You know, we're going to get very in depth with not just our coaches, but our kids on scripting these things. And we're going to work on, again, go back up here to the top. The most important part gets the most work. So for us, a lot of third downs, a lot of fourth downs, a lot of red zones. And then, of course, we move hashes, we move field levels, all that kind of stuff as well. You want to win and lose ball games, win third down, win fourth down, win red zone. If you win those, you're probably going to win the game. So we're going to hit those a ton inside of our script and inside of our situations. Okay? You also need to be working these inside of your individual time. They need to be talked about all the time by your coaches. Offensive line needs to be talking about, hey, third and short, we expect a blitz. Hey, third and long, we expect this. Hey, all of these things need to be talked about and built up as you go, which gets to this next one. You build as you go. 
you know, to me, practice, we're going to move a little bit early. You know, we're going to get after it. We always want to compete, always want to move. But it should increase in speed as it goes. So individual, you know, we we're going to get high quality reps. We're going to coach that up. If we can film it, we're going to film it. We're, we go to what we call pod, and I don't want to get into that because if I go to practice organization, I'll talk about that. But essentially, our pods are where we start working multiple groups together. Then we go to seven on seven and inside drill. That needs to move quickly. And then we go to team. That ought to be getting after it. And we ought to be moving and getting multiple reps very quickly. And that should, again, all build. It should also build as you start doing your objectives. So, you know, for us, we want to work heavily on third downs. We weren't real good in the red zone. Well, that's going to show up in individual. That's going to show up in our pod. That's going to show up in inside. And that's going to show up in our team. Okay, we, or it could be third and longs. You know, we're going to work that in all of these groups. And it builds as it goes. So it's kind of, you're laying the foundation individual, working your way up. So by the time you get to team, it ought to be ready to roll. Okay. Uh, we also want drills that translate. I could talk for an entire YouTube on this. Uh, one of the things that is wonderful about YouTube, which you guys are watching, or Twitter, or it, all these free materials, or, and, and even paid for materials, is there's a ton of information out there. There's a ton of great drills. Those work for those programs. Be very careful that you're running drills that translate for your program things that match what you're trying to accomplish. And then also organize them by most important. Okay, uh, you know, you may be in a program where right now you don't even tackle well. Well, let's work on that before we start working on some exotic, you know, 15 shed drill to get to a tackle. You know, let's get really good at the basics and then slowly work our way up. Or it could be a wonderful drill that just doesn't match what you're trying to do. So just make sure as a coach, you put a lot of thought into the drills you're going to do. That's easy as a head coach, but you also need to make sure your assistants are following the same deal. That their drills match what their kids need to do for you to be successful. And again, you could go, I could go on and on and on about this. I've got a ton of information available, guys. If you just want, if you want the full book on how we do our offense, you can order it at fbcoachsimpson.com. I've got templates all over the place. Got a coach tube course that actually goes way more in depth inside of all of this. If you're interested in that as well, or you can just shoot me an email, uh, reach out to me on Twitter. I'd like to help however I can. Uh, if you have not already done so, you can like and subscribe to this channel. I'd appreciate that very much. Uh, talk to you guys later.